Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today is the 26th of February, and I am here because I got a package from Goulet Pens. Isn't that pretty? And the lolly. And my order. I got a Noodler's Conrad Flex Fountain Pen and Clear. So, let's open her up, shall we? Hmm. I'm told that they have a distinct smell. Oh, that is very distinct, isn't it? It reminds me of like a pirate ship that I was on once. That is so strange. Anyway. This is the Noodler's Conrad. It's a very interesting uh, amount of parts that went into this that are undeniably awesome. The smell, though. I notice that three things happen with these types of pens. With all fountain pens, I'm noticing that none are actually How do I put it? I don't know how to put it. Um, fit. You're not able to put it in the grip any which way. It has to go in a certain way. Otherwise, it won't fly. And the nib and the feet only go in a certain way. And if you don't put them in that way, then they won't be useful that way. Anyway, I'm going to take this to the sink and give it a wash. Doing a and here is the Conrad, all inked up with Jane Davenport. Um mermaid tail ink and I am going to do a writing sample on the back of this here paper because I've already done a sample and the camera stopped recording so let's see Oh god, it looks like Ola. Anyway. Mm. You have to really slow down when you're doing a calligraphy art
you see what I did there? I mean, I'm not going to go too crazy on it because I really don't want to break it because I'm told that these flex nibs are very temperamental, so, I mean, Now, I won't say that it keeps up 100% of the time if you're going to write fast, but literally you can't even read my writing anyway. And the idea, I believe, behind these pens is to, you know, take your time. If you're going to do some calligraphy, you know, take your time. Do it slow. Make it look nice. So, let's see. Sometimes I think that writing with a the double broad or like a 1.9 millimeter stub looks more calligraphic, call, calligraphic than a flex pen nib. At any rate, I give this a seven point one. But it does a great job if you're just trying to write, you know, the quick brown fox jumps up with a lazy dog. What do you want for a pen? It's a pen. Use it like a pen. If you want, you know, calligraphic, you know, designs, there are specific pens for that. I have a calligraphic pen. This is a 1.5. A 1.5 millimeter stub and I mean, do you see the difference between the two? <coughs> All I'm saying is that, you know, you might get lots of line variation for the spread or whatever it is that's going on, but I don't think that you're going to find a pen that works, you know a million percent of the time because what in a million it's gonna freaking fail and that's just how life is depends on the ink depends on the person depends on what you're doing really
make just about anything beautiful with swirl, dipsy swirls, I like to call them. So, I mean, just have fun with your pens. Use them how they're supposed to be used, like pens, and not like you're trying to get something else out of them. You want a collect. Calligra calligraphy pen, you know, you're gonna have to buy a specific type of calligraphy pen. I would advise you to use a Pilot Parallel. I do not have a Pilot Parallel, but from what I've seen of them, I want one really bad because those are real calligraphy pens. It's a flat, two flat blades on top of each other, and um, there's ink in between. And so when it writes, it puts the ink down in an even line across whatever it's doing. And you know, you hold it at an angle, you do one side, then the other. Wait, you get the wheel. I'll go look up Pilot Parallel on. Pilot Parallel on YouTube. Anyway, um, this is the box that it came in. Yep. Too far. It's upside down. It's upside down. Nope, it was right side up. Ah, so funny. It's very strange looking. It looks like a catfish. Coming. Oh, a yin yang catfish. Oh my. Free trade forever. Next month ought to be a very interesting month. Getting it right with all with the noodlers, Conrad. Hopefully, I won't have to. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a phone call that I'm hoping that ne ne next month is going to be interesting because I'll get to write with. Um, these different pens with the different inks and um, different greens and stuff. So next month that'll be a lot of fun. I'm still finishing up on the red pen. So you know, I've got a couple of days more. Two more days exactly till the end of the month is here. So that ought to be exciting. Then we can look forward to St. Patrick's things. Uh, St. Patrick's Day things, so I will be retiring the, um, I don't know if I've shown you all this or not, but I've been writing in this heart mead wide rule 90 sheet mm, 10 and a half by 7 and a half by 19 centimeters. 20, 26 by 26.6 uh, 26 19 centimeter. A neat sheet. Perforated pages. So, I'll be retiring that book. Oh dear, don't fall over for this here composition book, which I will be using next month. And the reason that I got an, a composition book instead of a wire-bound book is because I find that resting my hand on these stupid wires hurt, and that's not cute, okay? So, if you're gonna get a, a book and you want it to lay flat, don't get a wire-bound one. Just deal with the little crease that you have to deal with with 
glued books or stapled books or however they put books together. Ones like this, where you'll have to deal with, you know, the, I don't know what they call this, the book look. And you'll just have to push it down a little bit in order for it to lay flat. But then you don't have to worry about your hand getting all, let's see if I can show you, scraped up from trying to use this stupid notebook. And at the bottom, it's got a little pokey thing. It's got one on the top too, and it got me right there. Got me, little bugger. Anyway, so I've already written out my name and March 2019. So that will be the March 2019 book. I know, isn't that exciting? This will be the second part of the February book entitled love never fails i mean love never dies wait i don't remember which it is love never fails or dies anyway so that is all for today thank you all for watching please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe have a great day love you bye